Supreme Court where an appeal in the granting of bail of the fish road accused Ricardo Gustavo by the state started this morning. High Court Judge Herman Westhazen granted bail to Gustavo in an amount of $800,000 in December last year with a number of conditions. Joining us for context is NBC's reporter Daniel Nadunya. Good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon. We were uh, briefly chanting be, be, before you came uh, live on air about uh, the appeal. What is it? Uh, can you give us a bit of context there? Yeah, no, an appeal is an application that any person that is not happy with a decision of a court can then appeal to the superior court. That is, if a decision was taken in the magistrate court, then you have to appeal against that decision uh, with the high court. And if the decision was taken by the high court, then you would have to appeal uh, with the Supreme Court. Yeah. But in this case, we would realize that um, there is what they call leave to appeal. And this is an application which you then um, uh, tender to the presiding a judge who initially gave the decision, yeah. that is basically for them to review their decision and find out or determine whether if the matter is taken to a different court or to a superior court, that superior court would come to a different conclusion. Yeah. Now, the prosecutor general in this case of uh, Gustavo, Ricardo Gustavo, uh, it, it, it is actually the proceeding that we to or we witness today stems from the granting of bail of uh, uh, Ricardo Gustavo by Judge Herman West Hazen last year. Mm. Now, albeit with a stringent condition, it appears that um, uh, Raymond, uh, this decision did not sit well with uh, the Prosecutor General, and then uh, she decided to then uh, appeal against that decision. Initially, Judge West Hazen. Uh, refused to grant the PG uh, leave to appeal, mm. but then the prosecutor general had then to petition the Supreme Court, uh, and yeah. that uh, is um, what then brought us to yeah. where we are today. Okay, uh, so Daniel, what, what happened today? Take us into the Supreme Court this morning. What we have seen is uh, uh, the deputy prosecutor general, that is E.D. Marondote, uh, there on behalf of the state, actually uh, putting um, his facts uh, through uh, to, to the court. Basically, what we have is a full bench uh, uh, of uh, Supreme Court uh, judges uh, of appeal here. And, and Marondoze argued that uh, in his opinion, or it is the state's position that uh, the Leonard judge uh, misguided himself in arriving to that decision of granting Ricardo Gustavo bail in that. Uh, it was not a fresh application, but rather an application based on new facts. But those facts were not stated by the Leonard judge. And, and therefore, it, it, it does not appear that um, um, uh, it was necessary to grant bail to Ricardo Gustavo because... Uh, those grounds or new facts are exactly the same as the grounds that uh, Ricardo brought before the magistrate and then the high court and uh, bail was denied. And uh, for, for uh, Judge Osthuizen to then arrive to a decision of granting Ricardo bail, uh, the state feel was a misguided decision. Okay. Well, uh, any other things, uh, Daniel, uh, just looking at uh, the event that would qualify as surprising, as important, as a hallmark of uh, the yes. event? This, this, I think, yeah. Yes, Raymond, I think uh, um, it's, it's a very good question. I think what, what came in is, uh, of course, uh, the judges uh, were, were also asking uh, uh, the state to say, is the state blameless? that uh, the court perhaps arrived to the decision of granting bail is the state blameless because we have seen during the proceedings, uh, uh, during the bail application uh, of, of Gustavo, where uh, the, the state was then asking on other matters, other than the matter that actually uh, uh, brought um, 
the proceedings to court or the appli- the, the application to to court in the mm. first place uh such as uh, asking about all other evidence rather than just then uh, confronting the very uh, issues of new um new evidence or new new conditions of yeah. of of bail or, yeah. or new 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 conditions of that application but then the state said look uh, we we are under obligation to adhere by the rules of the court or by the ruling of the court. When we objected to uh, actually the, the the witness or Ricardo himself uh, uh, divulging in all other stories, the court felt that it was necessary for us to allow okay. Gustavo to basically testify on other matters. So yeah. we were under obligation to okay. adhere to that. But da- the Daniel. other thing is that the state says now that... Um, it's ready to uh, basically go on trial. Okay, now, Daniel, we appreciate uh, your reporting. We'll certainly keep in touch uh, with you for new developments. Thank you, Raymond. All right, you take care. Bye-bye.